Okay, so... Die Hard 2 might be the most pointless Die Hard movie ever made. But it might at least have some member uh, action scenes that uh, makes it kind of fun stuff, dumb fun. This one doesn't exactly have that good of an advantage in that aspect, even though it's a better story, more st and more coherent story, even though. But uh, I don't know why the pretending the story is even uh, important or even matters. Why is it this? <sighs> if storytelling really mattered that much for the Die Hard franchise, they wouldn't have made such a. Well, um. Not that, uh. Such mediocre storytelling for the first two Die Hard movies before. This one, so a good day to die. How we get this one's ready to go. This theatrical release at least got ready out this time. So, uh, they learned. I guess I guess. Wonder what I've learned. About the Die Hard franchise is that each Die Hard installment, the gore was the action scenes that have violence, gore, and in the and the violence scenes feel like each time you see a sequel of the other sequel, the gore feels less intense, and so does the serious violence feel less intense, and it feels more like a fireworks show that you can take your kids to see. Because after a while, once the, because once 2 came on, the gore just became over-the-top silly fun, you know? Like, way too obvious silly fun. Like, you know how the most gory thing in for the first one is that he had, a, he had walked barefoot on glass? And show you how brutal and painful it looked. And hold on to the shot. Yeah. That's the most glorious that the first one got. When he seeing Bruce Willis walk on glass in the movie, you know? And the thing is, walking on glass is more intense than any of the other glass scenes within this franchise after the first one. Because these are like go more cartoon, more over the top, more over the top because they want to up the antique for up the excitement, up the excitement. But you know, there's only so much you can up the uh, theatricality. Then after a while, to a certain point, until up until it loses some. Um, groundiness and making it jarring and shocking for the audience to a point after a certain point two bands theatrical I've learned you, it, no matter what the rating is can this not make it jarring or traumatizing you know it's like it's at a point at a certain point with too much theatrical at least for me made for other people I feel like it becomes more like Child's play. Like, you're five, you're like, you're, like, you're telling me, you're, you, you, you never, you tells me, it's like, it feels like a five year old wrote this script. To a point, it's more cute and less shocking. The same reason why I don't think the gore in Deadpool movies are shocking. They're way too cartoony over the top, or more combat games, or. Um, the more common movies with their gore in it, you know, the ones that got a high rating warranty and got permission to do a high rating, you know. 
and I don't hate that. Um, when they when they do that, we go like we're really over the top theatrical, but that's not what Die Hard in terms of the violence was in the first one. You know, then it gets the sequel. It like just like says, "Fuck it, we're going all out big and louder and dumber." While showing no restraint. It won't keep on doing and doing until after some point the audience gets sick of these. And don't want them anymore. See, I think the reason why people don't want to die high is because... Not because these things John Mayne claim is not interesting anymore. I think they don't know why they don't like the die high movies now. It's... And I'm going to tell you why I think it is. It's because they make the... Each one, they make the, the, the gore and action scenes all more over the top, all more theatrical. To the point it feels like a fucking Saturday morning cartoon with action. Like... It doesn't feel like Die Hard, like the first one did, you know? Like, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like it even knows... The last thing I noticed about Die Hard franchise, once it got to the sequel, and after that, I'm following on to this one, it doesn't seem like it knows what world it wants to... what world it, it's in, or what it wants to be with the violence. It's so... Tone and consistent, and uh, was in the world built up uh, each installment for each installment of the sequels, and uh, yeah, so that's what's wrong with this one. So, in this one, his father and son reunite after and go on. Uh, protect this guy that's a terrorist, I guess. Then he uh, gets all smart and murdered by his daughter, who's now the head of the group of bad guys. And uh, the way she turns out to be working together and wasn't really going to kill him is. Bruce and son are re, re, really kind of sort of unclearly where they uh, held their relationship together or not. It's unclear, but we, this film we ends with them. I guess is saying that he did. And I was showing it's like makes all the difference in the world. Ugh. You know what? I think I know why why this is uh You know, I think I like two more, even though it's the most pointless out of Die Hard movies. And the worst story out of Die Hard movies. But at least has more at least has really good action scenes. Yeah, that you remember a lot better than this one. Even the ones in the third act, when the action goes really nuts. And a good day to die high, you know? So, the movie does have its moments, I guess it does tell an okay and coherent story. It's just, it's just like, uh... Why the fuck did they make this into a franchise in the first place? Why the fuck did they even make two in the first place? You're asking yourself this. At least I am as I'm watching this movie, so... Thinking to myself, be sure to stop at the first one. Like, you know how like, you, you, there's only five out of tens in a series to you get, get sick of five game gearing or something of five out of ten? And sometimes you just want something that's actually really, you know, really enjoy. That's 10 out of 10. It's really good. And not just average, like the 
medium of the road mediocre, but you can actually enjoy yourself, like, you feel treated, like you did with the first one, or, many other movies, like Robocop, original and remake, I felt like looked really good, and, like, stuff like that, so, I'm sick of talking about this, uh, so, this gets a 5 out of 10, a good day to die hard by. What the fuck?